Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, thank you for watching. If you're an oldie moldie, welcome back. If you hear noise, I live in a crazy house with lots of noise and my dad has probably a YouTube channel that he's watching on. I don't know. I want to make this into a dress closet. Yeah. In order for that to happen though, I need to go underneath. I need to go underneath here and those are my doll hangers. I need to put those away. It's not a problem. I just reorganized all of my American Girl doll clothes. And what I want to do is I want to come back in here and reorganize everything that is Rainbow High and Barbie clothes. So I use Barbie clothes for my Rainbow High dolls. And I don't separate them because I don't think it's necessary. Like, oh, this is Rainbow High. Oh, this is Barbie. I don't think it's necessary. I think what's more um, necessary for me is just to have them categorized by blouses, skirts, pants, and yeah. So that's how I do it. These are all of my Rainbow High clothes, Barbie clothes, whatever. I'm just calling them Rainbow High clothes because that's predominantly what they're used for. And so these are my markers. But what I wanna do is I wanna go in here. I wanna find all of the really poofy, fancy dresses and put them in that closet. The rainbow high closet so i'm going to do that and i hope you like these videos because i'm just doing them willy-nilly style um i'm going to open these up and start categorizing them they're mixed up now i was just like you know what i'm just going to mix up the clothes and it's not working for me so instead of mixing them up i'm going to actually kind of recategorize them and re do this clean it up a little bit because it is it's messy so we're going to go through one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen seventeen bins and it's easier um than it looks because it's already pretty much organized and remember what i said keep your stuff organized so that when you want to change things around you can and keep your stuff organized so that it's easier to keep up being organized if that makes any sense at all so because this is already pretty much organized to the way I like it I can easily um, finesse redo stuff like that so let's get to getting okay so look this is all of my stuff this is gonna be a short video because I'm gonna go through it kind of while I'm watching um, a YouTube video but I'm gonna show you kind of the process I'm gonna take all of these dresses that are kind of really poofy and hang them up in the rainbow high closet because these are going to get ruined and so yeah we're going to do that these ones i don't think i am but this kind of real poofy you know beyonce type dress oscar grammy you know got that vibe going on so yeah we're going to do that and i'm going to show you the pile after okay so i decided not to do the closet just yet but these are my fancy dresses this is going to be a really really short video so these are all of the jackets and some, you know, miscellaneous tops, but mostly jackets. I'm just gonna push it down. These are jackets. And I'm gonna put, I'm trying to categorize them all together. So I'm gonna put, I think I have more jackets somewhere. Nope. Those are blouses, blouses. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna put, these jackets here, kind of doing it one-handed if I can. Nope, I can't. So these are jackets, bigger jackets. And yeah, so we've got jackets and miscellaneous blouses. Jackets and miscellaneous blouses. This is too packed. I know that this is too packed. Hold on, this is ridiculous. Frustrating myself. Okay, so we moved this poofier jacket in here and that's with the fancy poofy dresses. And so I'm gonna put that in there. Okay, so this one is miscellaneous small stuff for American Girl dolls. This one is small doll clothes for Monster High Fail Fix. This one just has miscellaneous um, bigger skirts in here empty 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 okay so now we're gonna do bottoms so 
These are the tops, tops, tops. Two dresses and one bottom. Okay. Oh, I'm tired. Woo, doggy, I frustrated myself. Um, but I'm good now. I'm doing this. Okay, so you guys know I'm an adult doll collector, but I'm doing this because I want you guys to be motivated and inspired to organize. Organize all the time and you won't have um, a problem in the future. <laughs> basically if you're a hoarder so i'm a hoarder so here are doll dresses um more doll dresses i have them categorized so like i can get my stuff easier and you know is it perfect no can i open it no and this is fun for me so if you guys are like you're torturing yourself it's actually fun for me so i got blouses blouses um skirts and some jackets and skirts so yeah it's all perfectly organized i have three containers that i can fill up um this one's still kind of empty i did smaller clothes these are like monster high um fail fix stuff like that um miscellaneous jackets dresses that are fancy and poofy jackets jackets shoes jackets so yeah whew. everything is organized easy peasy mac and cheesy super excited for this um hope you guys get motivated to um, organize weekly daily if you're a collector if you have a lot of stuff in your home um doing this monthly like I said, really, really makes the difference between making yourself overwhelmed. And I was able to do this in a timely fashion because I do it all the time. It's a hobby of mine. Um, I love to buy doll clothes. I love to dress my dolls and I have to be organized or else it's just gonna overwhelm me and overwhelm my room and just be like a hoarder's den of miss Elenius craziness so yeah that's what I did keep it up that's what I need to tell you guys keep it up and this helped me so so much because I kept it up all I have to do is just put those hangers away and now if I wanted to just dress my dolls and have fun everything's organized everything's perfect and yeah I'm pretty much done organizing everything I am gonna go through a couple more things in my room but overall Everything is where it should be, and I love it so much. So, from one hoarder to another, if you love to collect things, take the time to organize. It'll save your sanity. It'll save you from even overspending. And you'll just be very aware of what you have. And when you're at the store and you're like, oh, I really like this you'll remember that, ooh, I think I already have something in my collection that's similar. So, I don't know if that'll help. But anyway, it helps me to see what I have and to see how um, I can utilize the things that I have to the best of my ability and have more fun with the things that I have and enjoy them. So, anywho, anyhow, I love you guys so, so much, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. So I am just trying to be more mindful and really use everything that I have. And I do use everything that I have. So in this process of collecting, I think over consumerism, is that even a thing? Is that even the correct terminology? But I think we can sometimes over consume and we have to think about the things we have. And we have to kind of think about the things that we have and the space that we have I mean, because you can have, and I know this happens with people who have, I live in a, in a one bedroom, one bedroom place atmosphere. Um, so I know that this happens with people who have houses and they are doll collectors and they have a house. It's really crazy when you're a doll collector and you have a house because you have the ability to collect and collect and collect and to put stuff in multiple rooms in different places and forget about the things that you have. I've seen so many 
doll tubers, um, doll collectors say that they have rooms filled with doll stuff and they will show us and I'm like yikes um that's overwhelming and I don't want to ever get to that point where I'm just like massively consuming and buying and it's just accumulating so much and so rapidly that I don't even know what I have. So it's easier to do it the way I do it because I do live in a smaller space and I have to be hyper vigilant and I have to be um, super aware of what I'm bringing in so that I can still have walking space in my room. So it's, this is a little harder to do if you have a house because in a house there's so many other places and things that you can just put things. So that's why I'm so hyper vigilant because I have, I have to be. So this is a really fun series that I'm doing. I'm having a lot of fun showing you guys how I live and how I'm doing um, my collecting hobby thing. I don't know what to call it, but it's just, this is how I control my hobby. So love you guys so, so much. And I just wanted to come in here and say this isn't to be like oh you know don't I'm not picking on anybody who has hobbies or collections and I call myself a hoarder because you know I mean a little bit a little bit so this is just kind of to motivate you like how do you start how I started years ago was I had so much stuff in this place that I was like I can't I can't do it anymore so let's do an overhaul a couple years ago, maybe two or three years ago, we did a full overhaul of my space and I perpetually keep it up and I go over my collections every few months, every two, three months, every few weeks. Um, I do it quite frequently. I don't have a schedule. I don't keep it on schedule, but I do do it quite frequently. Um, and it's fun for me. It's another part of my hobby, the organization of it all. So I will talk to you guys later and I hope you enjoyed this. I did have a lot of fun doing it. So uh, it's New Year's Eve and I'm going to see if there's anything good on TV. So I'll talk to you later.